<sighs> tried to do a fun intro, just didn't work out. So I'm just going to say welcome back, everybody. This is a gorgeous Lake Superior stone. It just happened to have a great big crack in it like a big divot down the front of it. And I covered it in resin and filled in some of that uh, that divot. And now I have a nice stone to work with. Look at how gorgeous this is. I can't wait to paint on this already piece of artwork right here. Um, so what I'm doing today, guys, is I'm creating a semicolon. You guys, I have done a semicolon tutorial before, but I felt like after this past year we might need a new one. So I'm gonna be adding some floral, I'm gonna be adding some gold, some glitter, and lots and lots of love to this one. And this is going out to every single person out there who is struggling, who has the choice to end their story and they've chosen to continue because they have a purpose and there's a reason for all of us to be here. So. I know I've struggled. Um, I've watched people struggling and it's hard. There's been a lot going on in this world, even even just the crime rate going up in my own my own town is is scary to me. Like the the drugs and and the crime is is terrifying to me. Um but like I said, we all have the choice to to end our stories and we need to keep going. Um, that's that's what we need to do. So I want to have as many of you create a beautiful, colorful, bright, noticeable um, semicolon. Leave it somewhere for someone to find it might change their whole path. You don't even know. Um, so I've just sketched on, I've used a compass to make two circles and then I turned the bottom circle into the, uh, little semicolon. Um, I'm going to be using cerulean blue. I used marker in order to get it on there because I can't use pencil. It doesn't stick to my resin surface. <laughs> so I had to use a marker and I don't have erasable marker, washable marker. I just have permanent. So I had to use nail polish remover to get rid of my permanent marker after I outlined it with gold um, because or else that permanent marker will bleed through any color of paint that I use, including my gold. <laughs> So keep that in mind if you're using any kind of permanent marker, or any markers or anything, you might need to wipe it off with some nail polish remover. Um, I'm filling in my semicolon with a nice dark cerulean blue. I'm going to do two coats of that. I'm going to use a sponge to get a nice even layer. Uh, and then we're going to be putting some beautiful cherry blossoms. Floral. Sorry, guys, if you're sick of flowers, <laughs> I'm back with flowers. <laughs> but that's because I want us all to make beautiful. Um, I want there to be some beauty in our semicolons. I want there to be some beauty in our stories that we are going to continue to write. Um, anything that glitters, sparkles, anything that catches their eye. Um... I want people to be able to see that their story isn't over yet and they must keep going. So I think the world needs this right now. I know I do. I know I need to remind myself once in a while that, you know, no matter how hard it gets, this is my, this is my story and I'm going to keep writing. Um, too many people are losing their lives. Too many people are full of stress and don't have someone to turn to and maybe a little stone with a simple gesture, a simple symbol that means so much can change how many people, how, how many paths can we change? How many people can we, you know, just give them a little bit of hope? Um, I just felt like it was super important to get another semicolon out. And with May being Mental Awareness Month, I believe, um, what a good time. What a good time, people. So when you look up the definition of semicolon, basically what it states is that the author could have chosen to end their story, but chose to go on. 
Um, so that's why I've chosen the semicolon. Many, many people look at the semicolon as a symbol of hope, as a symbol of continuing their story, no matter how hard their story gets. Um, so a lot of people have even tattoos with the semicolon. If you see that, that that's what it means. It's very, very powerful. So what I've done here is now that my cerulean blue is dry, um, I've gotten out my nice dark brown and my gold and I've done a couple of little branches just randomly on both areas of the semicolon. Not too much, it didn't go overboard and I've only kind of like put a little bit of gold on top of the branches just to kind of highlight the tops of them. I left the bottom parts brown. Um, so I'm gonna add a couple of cherry blossoms. I'm gonna be using like a baby pink and a little bit of uh, berry wine and a little bit of magenta. Um, so you guys will see how I create these. I have created cherry blossoms in the past. Um, I love cherry blossoms. They're like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite flowers or favorite trees. Um, they're just beautiful. So, and I, I just thought it would look really nice up against the blue. And then we're going to add some sparkle to it and we're going to make it shine. I'm going to be placing a few of these around my town um, this weekend with my kids. So hopefully someone finds it and it changes their path, gives them some hope. That's what I'm hoping for. So I hope you guys can tell me in the comments what you think, what kind of semicolon are you going to create? Are you gonna do flowers? Are you sick of flowers? Um, are you gonna make it shine? Uh, are you gonna make it noticeable? So someone's like, whoa, what is that? And they run over and they see it and maybe they know someone who needs to see it too. So they're gonna bring it to them. You never know. It's uh, it's kind of like paying it forward in a sense, I guess. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna do if you're gonna do it, where you're gonna leave them. Make sure that if you do use crystals or glitter or anything like that, that it's completely covered in resin or in a really good sealer so that animals and like little squirrels and birds and stuff can't pick off the stuff on your rock and get sick. Um, I think that's really, really important. Make sure you seal it really, really good um, before you leave it anywhere. Um, and don't, don't leave it like in a plastic bag or anything like that where animals can get to that either. Um, but just make sure. And also I've, I've, actually heard of people getting in trouble for leaving rocks on like the property of businesses or something so be careful where you're leaving it <laughs> just make sure that you're allowed and uh yeah and then feel good knowing that someone's gonna find that and it might really really help them or someone else so you never know so i'm coming in now with my baby pink um very very simple four petals five petals and I kind of do like a diamondish shape but I'm not really I'm not really being too careful with my shapes I'm not going to make them look like realistic cherry blossoms when someone looks at it they'll probably think oh hey pink flowers but that's really all that matters they're gonna see flowers right as long as it looks like flowers that's really all I'm going for I wanted it to be floral <laughs> on that nice blue background um, and no no glitter on the background I know guys there's there's no glitter there but there will be glitter just in the in little parts of the flowers very very soon so I'm gonna do a couple of different sizes and I'm gonna do a couple that have just little buds um, so they haven't quite bloomed yet uh, just get creative with it I'm not gonna fill it in really really full I still want to see a lot of that blue background so definitely do it how you want to do it you don't have to take my advice this is just me trying to get you to bring some hope into the world after the rough year we've all had somebody out there needs to see that their story isn't over yet I just know this I know this from day to day the stresses that I'm going through um with with you know teaching my kids I, I'm not a I don't know how to teach math. <laughs> I don't know how to teach 
area and perimeter. I don't know how to teach my six-year-old the English language because how do I keep having to explain to my son, no, 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 that one's silent. That one, I know, that's a strange word, but it is not that word at all. (laughs) The English language is so very confusing. I don't know how anyone taught me when I was a child. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher of English, and it's extremely stressful and overwhelming. And my business is suffering because I'm having to be a teacher. Um, so it's been, you know, a rough year. And I need this reminder. And you guys need this reminder. We are all warriors here. And we need to keep going. We, we have so much more, uh, so much more to write in our chapters. Like, so... As much uh, as I see, like when I get up in the morning and I look on Facebook and I see all the crime that's happened in my town just overnight or the the deaths or anything, you know, it's not so much the COVID numbers that are sticking out. Uh, it's It's the crime and it's terrifying. And I just feel like Jeez, we need some positivity. We need some love and and color and and flowers. Darn it, <laughs> we need flowers um, just to you know brighten up the world a little bit. It's it's been dark, so make your semicolon colorful and bright and sparkly and 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 spread that love and that hope to the whole world. That's what I'm I'm hoping for. I have over 75,000 subscribers. That is like a lot for me. I'm very 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 excited about that. Um and I'm so thankful that that many people just decided that this was cool enough to hit the subscribe button. So um I don't get like a huge amount of views. I don't make money really this isn't enough to live off of so the fact that there's so many of you out there that are creating and and supportive of my work and I'm just so thankful for all of you and you guys are my semicolon you guys keep me going so I want you to know that and so now I have my pink flowers. I have my little buds. I did use a little bit of sponge to get in some magenta just to darken the inner parts of all of the flowers. I will be outlining the, the flowers at least, just kind of separating the petals from one another. Be outlining that with black. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I Sorry, you guys can't see the bottom of the rock right now, but that's what I'm doing. I'm outlining the petals and um, I'm not going overboard with it. Like I, I'm trying not to do too dark, but I might have had too much paint here and there. So I'm going to have to go back and fill that in with some baby pink once the black is dry. Don't ever try and mess with black paint until it's dry. One tip. <laughs> from Rachel. <laughs> um, so yeah, just use a sponge. I used a blending brush um, because it's a small, they're smaller flowers, right? So in order to get that magenta blended in like that, just use a blending brush or a little, little sponge. Um, my blending brush tutorial is in the description of this video, as well as my fine lining brush. This I purchased from Amazon and then I cut it down and I have a tutorial to show you how I cut it down so that I have a really nice, like easy to use, um, fine lining brush. Yeah, it's really easy. And I guess I've had a few years practice now with it. So it looks like it's super easy. Uh, it takes time, it takes time and practice and the right amount, the right amount of bristles on your brush as well. So I'm putting a black dot in the centers. I'm going to let those dry. And they are looking pretty nice. They already kind of look like cherry blossoms. <laughs> and I will be adding some berry wine. Like I mentioned earlier, I need some new berry wine. You can tell by my bottle that I've used it to the last drops. <laughs> so I'm adding a nice berry wine uh, dot on top of the black, but you can still kind of see the black there. Don't cover the black, just put a, a dot in the center of it. Um, and then I'm going to be adding 
a couple of like little wispy little hairs coming out of that like I'm doing here. I do little wispy hairs with my fine lining brush just kind of wisp it out. I don't know the te the technical terms of the I'm wisping okay we're wisping. <laughs> I should make shirts for us that say keep wisping and skiffing that gold on those branches just skiff it on there. <laughs> I'm gonna have like my own vocabulary soon very soon. Um, so <laughs> I'm just uh, wisping on those little hairs and then I take a little dotting tool which I got from the pinkchair.ca. It's uh, a little art nail nail art uh, dotting tool. Very, very, very small. And it's fantastic for those little dots. So I'm just putting little dots randomly. Some of them are on the little wispy things and some of them are not. They're floating in midair and that really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it looks like cherry blossoms to me. What do you guys think? Look at, I've cut, this rock is actually quite large. It's probably about eight inches, so that's why you can't see it very well. I, I needed it close enough, like my camera close enough so that you can see what I'm doing, but if I, if I have it close enough, you guys can't see the whole rock. Unfortunately, I have to do something about, about that. I don't have a camera. I'm just recording everything with a phone, and I'm not very technical when it comes to this kind of stuff either, so... Now I'm using, you guys have seen me use this stuff before, it's chrome powder or mirror powder or shell powder. It's for nails, you can buy it online, you can buy it at the pinkchair.ca, they just got a whole bunch of really cool uh, chrome powders and holographic powders there. Don't forget to use my discount code uh, Rachel Mitchell if you shop at the pinkchair.ca um, to get any of your glitter or your dotting tools or any of your nail um, stuff that you like to use on your rocks like foils and stuff like that. Um, I just added a little bit of that pink nail glitter to the centers of all of my flowers. And now I'm going to put some triple thick on it. The lighting changed. I apologize for this. Um, the battery was probably dying. <laughs> um, but I promise you, when you see the resin reveal, you're going to get full light on that, okay? You'll see just how beautiful this is in every single way at the very end of this video. So stay tuned. Um, so yeah, I'm just covering my glitter in triple thick. You can use Mod Podge, any glue that dries clear, anything like that, clear gloss, uh, just to keep the glitter in place. I don't want it to travel onto the blue or out onto the stone. I want it to stay on the flowers. So I'm just keeping it in place like that. Um, and I'm going to let that dry properly, probably for a couple of hours before I seal it with resin. Uh, and I will show you the resin reveal right about now. So I decided to take it outside and the sun was not out anymore. So that was a little bit disappointing. Um, I was hoping to be able to catch um, a good glimpse of it in the sun. But I'll bring it inside and show it to you under a lamp. That way you get a better look at it. Um, now this is gorgeous and it's only like, first of all, look at the stone. Okay, there's no way to recreate that background anywhere. That is beautiful. Um, and then we just added this beautiful semicolon on top of it and it pops like it is bright. It is gorgeous. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, I think someone would would definitely would definitely like that. I'm going to be putting a couple of these into my Etsy shop. Uh, I'm hoping, I've been so busy and I've got a lineup of stuff that I'm going to be putting in there. Um, so that owl tutorial that I recently did, that owl will be going into my Etsy shop as well at the same time as some of these cute little things. Um, the other one, the smaller one I did, same background luckily and it's got a more sparkle to it, a little bit more glitter in the background. Uh, and this one, if you guys are interested in a tutorial of this one, let me know in the comments, please. I'm not going to post it if you guys don't really want to. Uh, this is a blooming semicolon. So basically, I did the, the outline of the semicolon and did some blooming flowers coming out of it. Lots of uh, glitter, lots of crystals. Um, but let me know in the comments if you're interested in tutorial for that one. Um, I do have it filmed, but I would have to edit it all together if there's any interest. I don't want to bore you guys, but semicolons I think are really needed right now. Um, I love you guys. Keep painting. 
that that's what this is all about. I love you. Keep coming back and painting with me. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.